Is there an email from Mr. Maguire to you and to Ms. Berejiklian, 18 July 2017? Yes, I do. 9.24 a.m., see that? Yes. Uh, entitled, Here We Go on the Merry Go Round Again, exclamation mark. Yep. That's a, a, a kind of email that Mr. Maguire would send you from time to time. Uh, that is typical, Daryl, um, in relation to the way he approached ministers uh, when tracing funding or tracing up status uh, or venting. Absolutely. Uh, typical Daryl would be to be quite vociferous in his advocacy of projects that he wanted to get across the line. So, right? I'd say, I'd say a pain in the ass. Um, he was very, very strong local member and, and uh, someone that really didn't um, let go. It was a dog of the brain. Yeah. So as part of being a pain in the ass, he would make regular contact with ministers and ministers' staff, is that right? That would be correct. Contact with agency staff as well, is that right? It's, it's very possible. It's... Well, not just possible in your experience, yeah, not necessarily to do with this project. As part of being a pain in the ass, Mr Maguire would be in regular communication with ministers, ministerial officers, and agency staff. Yeah. Yes. You're aware, I take it, that Ms. Berejiklian gave evidence before this commission to the effect that she was in a close personal relationship with Mr. Maguire from at least about the time of the 2015 election or slightly after or thereabouts. Sorry. When did you first find out about that information? Uh, a year ago, when uh, she gave evidence here at the IPA. Not something that you knew about at the time of the Expenditure Review Committee meeting at the 14th of December 2016? No, not at all. Had you known about that information at the time of the Expenditure Review Committee meeting, um, would have you done anything differently? I think most of us would, would have done everything differently. Um, the way that the item would have been debated, who would have been in attendance, and if there was a process and another, uh, uh, another approach in dealing with what would be perceived conflict of interest.